this project gives a lot of information about understanding cover crops and comparing them to our conventional no-till system without cover crops. And teaching us how to use them and hopefully how to make the best recommendations. Because we know how many seeds we need out in the field per acre to get a successful uh, corn crop or soybean crop. We want to know those same things for our cover crops, when to plant them, how to manage them, what kind of results we can expect. I know for some of the legumes like the clovers, there's more unknowns as to how they really do perform. Can they be grown further to the north? We had lots of questions when trying to make recommendations. And so that's where I think this project kind of started and evolved. Our project looked at cereal rye along with crimson clover and balanza clover. The clover is used before corn and the cereal rye used before soybeans. We also have research sites at other locations around the state trying to understand how the geographical differences around the state and soils influence the performance of these cover crops under those planting dates. We're in year one and working on year two right now of data. We don't have any of that year two data. It's still in the field behind us. Looking at soybeans, we know that the seeding rate, while it does have some influence, the planting date is what gives us the most difference in cereal rye biomass. We get very high levels of biomass, even at some of the very latest uh, planting dates, even if we maximize our seeding rate, even up to that 120 pounds, sometimes we still can't achieve as much above ground biomass as just planting 30 pounds planted at our earliest timing. Hopefully this gives farmers an understanding of how to make decisions if it is late. If it is early, can I conserve seed? Do I have to plant uh, as much? So hopefully we can dial some of that in. And overall with both the clover and the cereal rye on both corn and soybeans, you know, looking at our trials, we can utilize these systems and we saw no yield differences. So I think one of the pieces of information that I want to continue to share with this is looking at dialing in those seeding rates, validating how the different times we can terminate the crops and, and that this is, can be a successful program. Uh, we're trying to work with all our research farms and everything to work on good cover crop practices and trying to how we manage them and making sure we're using the best uh, management practices we have to illustrate you know, good example of good cover crop management. For more information about this project, go to ilsoyadvisor.com to find reports and updates on progress of this project.